I want you to consider your regrets, grief, sadness, depression, anxiety, anger, these things we carry around with us that can be debilitating at times. They stay with us in some way, sometimes for our whole life. These different mental pains, what I like to call burdens, are hard to carry. They define us, change us, making us better, stronger, but too often it has the opposite effect. I have quite a few burdens and I'd like to share them with you. I grew up with my mother and brother living in Florida for a while before moving to Dayton, Ohio when I was still fairly young. My father was out of the picture. He had left before we came to Ohio and to be truthful, he was, I was so young when he left that I don't even remember what he looks like. My mother was out of work due to a back injury and we were living on her disability pay. She had a lot more responsibilities than she should have. She was scared of how she would, we would do in a public school, so she decided to homeschool us, but it never quite worked out. She wasn't regularly able to teach us, and we fell behind on our education. She had a lot of problems to deal with, between back pain, diabetes, insomnia, and a general lack of energy. She rarely had the strength to be able to teach, cook, and take care of us. She had a lot of burdens to deal with, so she started to use and later abuse the drug Oxycontin, a painkiller. She went be from being a lively, loving person who would make the best of her day despite her physical pain to being someone who was more often bedridden, where even getting a glass of water for herself was a challenge. Her condition worsened over the years until eventually, on June 7th of 2014, she passed away from a drug overdose. Our grandparents, always being the first to help, took us in and we started our education at the Bellbrook School District, where I'm currently finishing my senior year. I may not have portrayed her well, but my mother was truly an incredible woman. Even though she endured so much, she still gave everything we had, or everything she had, to myself and my brother. All of the energy that she had was always devoted to us. I still remember the times that she would dance and sing around the house just to try and make us smile, or how good her cooking was, or how whenever I would cry, she would sit down with me and cheer me up immediately. She taught me the skills to use to get where I am today. I act how I do because of her. My burden comes from my loss of her. She was my world and I had lost her. I still find myself in denial that anything had happened. I go to sleep at night and dream I'm back in my old home, living a normal life. And I wake up, and I'm surprised I'm not in my old room. Everything I do, I do to make her proud as she watches down over me. And I think she would be proud. Her dream was for me to go to college, and by pursuing that dream, I've been accepted into my top pick school at The Ohio State University. This is what I deal with. This is not something that I've shared with a large group in the past, and I think many people at my school would be surprised to know much of this about me. If you ask my teachers or peers, they'll say I'm a very happy person. But that's because it's become so normal for us to keep our inner struggle hidden. I'm not saying that we should be sad all the time, but I hardly let these emotions surface, and it is exhausting to keep it in all the time. I can safely say that there are many others that don't ever let these emotions show, even when they're so important for us to express. If we let this tension build inside of us forever, one day we're just going to burst. I myself have burst a few times, and it has never been pretty. I've lost friends, strained relationships with my family, and brought myself more suffering because I couldn't handle and control my burdens. So the challenge that lays ahead of us is this. How do we combat something that seems so impossible to fight? We have to start small and strike at the heart of the issue. It is hard to go to someone and ask for help. People have a hard time both sharing their struggles 
and owning up to them. I've had to go to ask for help before, and it was not easy. When I came to Bellbrook, my first experience in a public school, I was lost. I had no friends, no social skills, and I had no idea how to deal with the emotions I was drowning in after my mother passed away. After a few months, I realized that I could not do this alone. So I summoned my courage, and I went to my school guidance counselor and asked for help. I knew I could trust her. She was reliable. So I went to her, and I asked for help. Over the next three years, she helped me deal with my anxiety, grief, and all the other mental pains that I had faced. I didn't realize it at the time, but having someone to talk to and know care for me was exactly what I needed. This was the first step that I took to recovering from the loss of my mother, and it was by far the most important. If I had not taken this step, then I would not be where I am today. I would still be in that dark hole that I fell into just seven years ago. So I implore you, if you're struggling with something, find someone that you can trust, someone reliable that you know will care for you, and ask for help. Everyone has their own burdens. So if they can't help you, be understanding and realize that they might not be in the mental space to be able to provide you that help. Or maybe they don't know how to help you. So help them help you by explaining to them what specifically you need. Even if it seems like something small, like just being there to talk to you. If you find yourself on the other side of this and someone approaches you and asks for help, do what you can to be there for them. Open a conversation with them. Ask them what they need from you and offer them what you can. I can say with certainty that just being there, letting them confide in you, and aiding them however you can will help tremendously. My final request is that you consider someone's burdens before judging their actions. Think about a time that you have ended up hurting someone you care about because you let your emotions get the best of you. Everyone suffers from this buildup of our burdens weighing down on us, and eventually, everybody releases. So be as courteous as you can to someone who explodes on you. The grace that you show them could be the difference between them having a good or bad day, week, or even month. Although I've employed all the advice I've given, I have not lessened my burden. But I have lessened my suffering. These things stay with you, maybe for life, but we can learn to feel at peace with our pains and grow from them. But it is so hard to do alone. So find someone to be with you through your suffering. Someone who shares in the pain also aids in the healing. And by the end, you'll both flourish.